So last time I showed you how to set up your Google Analytics account. This time what I would like to do is take you through some of the basic statistics that you want to take a look at. And what I'm going to focus on this time are the essentials, the bare essentials. Page views, unique visitors, visits, and then the basic concept of where people are coming from when they come to your site. So just taking a look here, I just logged in and I'm looking at my reports for conversationmarketing.com and if you remember this is the account that I set up uh, in the last session and if you take a look here as soon as I log in I have sort of an executive dashboard and you can see here this gives me a quick overview of what's going on and you can see I have a graph that's showing me who's coming to my website or how many people are coming to my website sorry and also how many page views I'm getting but the statistic I really want to see is how many unique visitors are coming to my website. Here's the difference. If I come to a website 10 times in a week, then I count as 10 visits that week, but I only count as one unique visitor. Now, measuring visits is not without value, but you also want to know how many unique visitors you get to come to your site. So, if you go under marketing optimization, and then unique visitor tracking and absolute unique visitors, this is telling me that I've had 424 unique visitors <clears throat> in the time period that I'm measuring right now. And that time period is from the 9th through the 15th. Now I can change the date range. All I have to do is come down here to the date range area, click on the little calendar, pick a start date and an end date, and click apply range. So now I'm just looking from the 12th through the 14th. So I've had 332 absolute unique visitors. Each of those visitors may have come to my site more than once, but they each only count as one unique visitor. Now what I can also look at are visits and page views. So notice, in that time period, I had 300 and something unique visitors, but I had 422 visits. That's because some of those visitors came to my site more than once. If you look a little further down, you'll see that I had 852 page views in that time period. A page view is when I take a look at a particular page on a site. So if you click a link on a website and then a new page loads, that's one page view. And then the most important statistic, in the page view realm at least, is the number of page views per visit. So if you take a look at my site, on Monday I had 1.81 page views per visit, on Tuesday I had 2.41, and on Wednesday I had 1.83. None of those are particularly great numbers, but I'm just starting out tracking this, so in the weeks that come we'll figure out a little bit more about how well that's really working. And notice you can also change the graphs in Google Analytics to be trended or to be bar graphs. And if you take a look, you'll notice I can also look at daily visitors. What this is going to tell me is how many people are coming to my site each day. And the difference between that and unique visitors is this is showing me unique visitors each day and it's showing me how many of them are new visitors. This may seem like kind of a, a, a fairly shallow distinction right now, but later on when we get into deeper into Google Analytics, it'll be a pretty important one. So I know that on Monday, 77%, about three quarters of my visitors were new visitors. On Tuesday, about 81%, and on Wednesday, about 81%. You want to have a good ratio of new visitors to returning visitors, because you want some loyalty. You want people coming back, but you also want to continue to grow your audience. Uh, whether this is a good percentage or not for me, we don't know yet, and I will talk about that in later sessions. So, so far we've talked about unique visitors, which is one person coming to your site any number of times in that time period. We've talked about visits, which is each time that person comes to your site, and page views. That's the number of different pages on your site someone looks at each time they visit your site. I'd like to take a look at one last thing in this fairly short session and show you the referring source. Notice, I just clicked Visitor Segment Performance referring source. This tells me where my visitors are coming from. 
and ignore these last two columns, G1 per visit and dollars per visits for now. We'll talk about those another time. This tells me how people are finding me. So notice, 160 visits, not visitors, but 160 visits were generated by Google Organic. That means the unpaid search results on Google. 139 were direct. 14 came from Google.com referral, which I have never totally understood, but I believe that means coming from Google's content network. And uh, email me a question about that if you'd like to find out exactly what that means. Uh, we have some referrals coming from blogs.portentinteractive.com and so on. And the important thing to know about Google Analytics is that in almost every one of these charts you can drill down. So you see this little button here that says analysis options. If I click that, I can now look and see across segments. So for example, for Google Organic, I can click on keyword. And what that's going to show me is which keywords are sending people to my site. Notice Yahoo Panama sent nine visits. And again, those nine visits might be one person coming to my site nine times. It's unlikely, but it, they might be. These are not unique visitors. And then I have seven people coming searching on the name of my book and so on. So in this session, we went over a few fairly basic but very important statistics. We went over absolute unique visitors, we went over the difference between unique visitors and visits. And we went over page views, page views per visit. And finally, using Google Analytics to look at your visitor segment and their referring source, which tells me where those folks came from. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment on this section of my blog. Uh, or send me an email at ian at portentinteractive.com, and I'll be back next week with another session. Thanks.